Hey folks, welcome to the stream. I'm Commander Red Falcon, and today we start leg three of our epic journey to Beagle Point. We're sitting here in Explorer's Anchorage uh, one last time to get our ship all fueled up and ready to go. Let's just see here, make sure that we're all stocked. Okay, everything's good. Both our SRVs are there. AFM units full. Fuel's good, though not that we really need it. Okay, so I figured the best way to start this is to give everyone a quick view of what this leg of the journey is going to look like. And this is going to be the longest leg that we've had so far. The first leg was like 22,000 light years. And that was from Seoul to Colonia. And then this past leg has been the shortest. Um, normally it's about 11, but we went up and down and around. Um, and that ended up being somewhere in the neighborhood of probably a, under like 20,000 or so. Again, maybe a little less. This time, though, this journey, it's calculated out to be about... 49,000 light years. So we're going to start here in Sagittarius A. We're going to go up here to this point. It's called Goliath's Rest. And it's supposed to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2,700 light years above the galactic center. Um, we can actually get to that one. There are there have been about seven, like 2,700 visitors to that spot so it should be within our ship's range then we're going to head over here to the rendezvous point and head over here to luna's shadow which this is a really interesting point in space this is actually the soul system's like counterpart um i don't know if we can actually see that okay maybe not um but it's pretty much at the opposite end of the galaxy from the solar system, like almost exactly. So that'll be really interesting. And then we're going to stop here. Uh, there's actually a fleet carrier at this final leg right here, or this waypoint here. Um, it's permanently stationed in the abyss. I believe it's called the DSSA Tartarus. So we're going to go there and upload our nav data. Which, by then, I should be elite. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't be traveling that far. And then finally from there, we're going to head over to Beagle Point. And there's a couple other points right around Beagle Point that I wanted to visit as well. So, very exciting, very long journey. And, yeah. That's pretty much where we are. Um, let me go grab our first waypoint and we'll get started. Okay, first things first, we'll get our coordinates locked in. And it's going to take a little bit with all these stars. Perfect, okay. Alright, so we got that locked in, but first we're going to take one last spin around Sagittarius A. All right. Modules are all at 100%. All right, let's go. This will be the last time we dock at a spaceport for a very, very long time. Have anyone? Oh, in the 
Oh, it looks like an NPC. It looks like we are clear to go. Wow, you can almost see the black hole from here. That's wild. Lights off. Once we clear this mass lock, we'll jump. Say goodbye to Anchorage. Frameshift drive charging. You are clear of the station. Safe travels, Commander. Clear that event horizon. Alright, there she is, Sagittarius A. Supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Kinda looks like a giant blob. Alright. Let's hit up the galaxy map so we can recalculate our route. Route recalculated. Well, say goodbye to Sagittarius A. So Goliath's Rest is about 7,000 light years from where we are. We're not going to make it in this stream. Um, I'm hoping to save that for next week. Yeah, it looks like someone's been here before. Okay, maybe no one's found this system yet. Okay, well, let's do a scan. I think we're clear from that star. Gas giants. Yeah, looks like there's going to be a lot of gas giants in this one. Gas giants almost always have moons. Multiple. Let me go ahead and scan those. Oops. There we go.
All right. Come on. There we go. this rate, it's going to take me a while to get through all this. <laughs> oh. Though, I have been able to get, like, five minutes to completely scan a system. So, it's not that bad. Wow, look at that ring formation. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of ice bodies. I don't think we're going to have any candidates. That's what I'm just going to call them for now on, because terraformable just doesn't quite roll off the tongue. And candidates, candidate for terraforming is too long to say, so I'm just going to call them candidates. Take a look. Do our due, dil due diligence. Nope. And the rest, well, let's check these moons. You never know. Uh, doesn't look like any of them after that are really, yeah, just rocky bodies. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any neutron stars in this part of the galaxy, so it's going to take us a while. Uh, we might get out of the galactic core by the end of the stream. I can't promise that, but we'll certainly try. All depends on what we find along the way. But I know after these, like, ten or so jumps, it's pretty much like straight Neutron Highway from there. No one's found this system yet either. Okay. More for me. I mean, honestly, with star density this, like this, I'm not surprised. I don't even know how I would even begin to start mapping the galactic core. It's it's insane. I guess maybe start with like a subregion and just do it by name. I don't know. And I checked EDSM and I'm up to just under 250 new discoveries. Now, that's not saying much. I mean, there are people who have thousands and thousands of new system discoveries under their belt. But for someone who just started out um, back in May, not bad. And I don't play a whole lot. Pretty much, I uh, just play off stream until I get to a, a certain point in the journey and then I save it for the stream. Alright, I think there 
there's anything good here. Oops. Always gotta check these just in case, but. Nope. Okay. Just Rocky Worlds. Alright. Next one on the list. That's also a new discovery, okay. My Odyssey, very appropriate song for this. Planet looked promising. Asteroids out of my scope. Oh, there we go. That this is the last one. And you probably have like what, two moons? No, just one moon. Okay. promising is this one. Oh. Metal rich though. And this one looks like an ice planet. Yep. Okay. Now I'm curious because this planet looked pretty promising but Rocky Body. Yep. Alright. Let me check something real quick. Oh. Damn it. Wrong one. Always the wrong one. Let's see here. Curious to see if there are any neutron stars around. Doesn't look like we have any. Oh, that's a pity. Oh well. All right, let's see here. 
And we make sure use jet cone boost, fastest route, max 20k light years. Okay. Just want to check all those settings. Actually, speaking of checking things. Want to see the chat? No one said anything. Ugh. System. Ooh, three stars in this one. Looks like another one where no one's discovered anything. Hey, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't really have to check the other one. It looks pretty much. Icy bodies. High metal content. Ooh, an ammonia world. Okay. That's worth scanning, I think. Ammonia worlds are generally worth quite a bit. Oh. We got a couple things here. Look at that. This one doesn't look too bad. Damn it. Ah, here we go, the ammonia world. Ah. All right. That was a discovery, apparently. I hadn't found one like that in this region. See if there's anything else worth scanning. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything around these other two planets. Typically worth a good bit more than I think a mon I think a non terraformable world's like I'd have to look at my cheat sheet. But it's it's worth scanning. Oh crap. Uh first loop of shame of the stream. Be right back.
got par seven. All right, now we wait. Surface scanned by fifty percent. Okay, this will probably do it. At least I hope that'll hit 10%. We'll see. Three stars, okay. I can live with that. But I've learned that I need to also check a system for uh, stellar phenomena. Do, 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 do. And even if there aren't any bodies in the system, there still might be another point of interest, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, nope. Scope's clear. All right. Frame shift drive charging. Always worth checking. I'm looking forward to the sky dispersing a little bit. But let's see, my goal is to start the stream next week at Goliath's Rest so we can get a nice view of everything. You're supposed to be able to land on a planet and get a beautiful view of both the star and the galactic spiral. So that'll be a pretty cool shot. Scopes are clear. All right. Looks like we're out of the heat influence of that star. So we can go jump again. What do we have? We've got four more jumps until we hit our first neutron star. All right. We are good to go. Seventeen orbital bodies. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that no one's found this yet. Let's see. Nope. New discovery. Icy bodies, eh, rocky bodies. We'll see. We might, we might have something here. Let's take a look. Oh, what's this? We've got a gas giant. Got 
some rocky bodies orbiting that gas giant. Alright. Oop. Missed one. Alright, well that's all the that's all the icy bodies. My guess would be three gas giants total with um rocky bodies, both icy and regular orbiting. I think that's a safe bet. This one's got a lot of moons. Oops. Yeah, always gotta do that. Alright, let's see what's next. Yep, I think I called it. Three gas giants. System scan complete. I doubt there's going to be anything worth mapping, but we'll take a look. Regardless. Yeah, rocky bodies. Yeah, I see bodies. Okay. Now we play the game of finding my bottle of water blind. I cannot emphasize the importance of drinking water. You gotta keep yourself hydrated. And I don't mean like soda or any of that nonsense. I mean just plain old fashioned water. There's nothing in it, there's no calories, and it's a vital component to your body. I mean, hell, the human body's made of, like, what, 70% water? Or is that the Earth? Regardless, it's a majority of our bodies made of water. And you ever notice how, like, humans, we tend to take the path of least resistance when it comes to, well, anything? I like to think it's because we're mostly made of water, and water will always take the path of least resistance. Don't know if there's any truth to that, but it makes for some good folk wisdom, at least. I'm trying to remember where I heard that from. I think I heard it at a conference. Like a work conference. Um, specifically, they were talking about human behavior when it comes to uh, uh, IT-related stuff, uh, passwords, that sort of thing. Can't remember the rest of the conference, but I remember that line, so. All right. Ah, here we go. Rich bodies. Let's see what we got. I doubt this bottom one's going to have any good candidates because the star's just way too cool. But let's see. Nope. 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 That's nah, a rocky ice world. I'm just going to humor myself and take a look at one of these, but they all look like icy bodies to me. Those are all 
nice bodies. Makes sense. Apologies for the drinking noises. I'm hoping some of the ship's ambient noise drowned that out. Won't know till I hear the recording. Okay, so 16 bodies. This is probably another first discovery. Well, if you want to discover a bunch of planets and star systems, you got to go to the Galactic Core. That's the place to be, apparently. It's always when I'm looking for a new system that hasn't been discovered. I can't find them, but then as soon as I'm not looking for them, they just pop up everywhere. Yeah, this is another one. Got all those clusters off my radar. Ow. Oh, gas giant, okay. something. Yep, I missed something. Another rocky body. Oops. Alright, so I'm gonna guess the rest of these are moons around probably two, maybe three gas giants. God, this is so much faster than the way it used to be. Because you used to have to actually fly to every individual planet to get scan data. Now you can just use this thing. Cuts down on um well just cuts down on the amount of time you need really. I was wrong. There are a couple ice bodies by themselves. see what we got. I doubt any of these are going to be candidates, but steward due diligence regardless. Oh, that one's got 10 geological features. That'd be neat. Don't know if it's worth taking a look at, though. All right. There's an awful lot of bright stars out here. I wonder if any of those are neutron stars. They're probably dwarfs. Well, this next one's going to be a neutron star. And this will be the start of the neutron highway for us. Those watching this, who's been watching the stream for a while, you know the drill on this one. Hop from star to star until fuel gets about halfway and then find a fuel star nearby. Continue the journey. High metal content. There it is. 
Oh, wow, look at that one. High nitro nitrogen rich atmosphere. Could be terraform. All right, we'll see if any of these are candidates. I doubt it, but we'll take a look. Oh, it is a candidate. Okay. Okay, so only the first one. Still, ain't bad. All right. Um, if I submit this data before somebody else gets a chance to do it, I'll get my name on that, but I'm not too worried about it. Come on. Come on, old girl. There you go. I just can't seem to get... There we go. There we go. Perfect. First neutron star of the stream could have gone a little smoother, but yeah, you know, that's life. A little messy. Right, we're gonna scan this planet and then head on to our next waypoint, which I'm gonna have to find. I'll probably do that after we do the scan. Uh, but you can see the stars have starting to, uh, starting to, the stars have started to disperse a little bit. My guess is that we're nearing the edge of the galactic core region. Interesting that we've got a cluster of bright stars to our starboard side and then to our port side, it's less bright. For lack of a better term. That was interesting. Alright. getting there. Even if I don't get the credit for mapping this, it's still money. I like money. Right, let's see how well I nailed that. Oh, did I get in the middle? Uh, close enough. Boom. Three. Perfect. All right. Let me go grab our next waypoint. Okay. I notice we've got two people watching right now. Hello. Um, if you type anything in the chat and I don't respond, it's not because I'm being rude. It's because I'm wearing a VR headset and I actually can't see you. So please be patient. I think the record for simultaneous viewers of my live stream have been four. <laughs> so, 
We'll see. And I also have a lot of people that watch the archive of the stream. Um, those are available on my YouTube page. There's a link to it on my Twitch profile, as well as um, at the end of this stream, there'll be a little title card with the link. too interesting here. All right, let's see if my second attempt is better than my first. Damn it. I overshot it. One of these days I'm going to get good at this. Get good, scrub, right? It's like Dark Souls. out of here. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's go grab our next waypoint. What's my fuel look like? Wait. What? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. All right. Hold on. I need to fix something. Try this. weird. I must have picked a system that was close to where I was. That happens sometimes. Wait, that's not the... Damn it. Alright, how many jumps is that? Okay, two jumps. I can live with that. As long as we're moving ahead, we're good. Wonder how far till we get out of the galactic center. I'm sure someone's discovered this already. Huh? Really? New discovery. All right. Cool. Pity there's nothing here. I mean, it's a neutron star, so that'll contribute to the neutron highway. Damn, I'm going too fast into this thing. Next 
star system. That's a big one. I think you're an A. Yep. Wow, have I not found an A class star before? That's weird. Oh, a Titori. Okay. So you're the thing I haven't found before. Interesting. Well, this will take care of my fueling problem. Well, not really a problem, just the fact that I needed to get fueled. Alright. I'm going to go on a limb and assume no one's found this system yet, right? Wow, these things are huge. Yep. My very own piece of the galaxy right here. Rocky Ice. Ooh, two water worlds it looks like. Maybe it's just one, but still, water worlds. Not bad. Not bad at all. Even better if they're candidates. And for the new people who just joined, when I say candidate, I mean candidate for terraforming. Nitrogen rich atmosphere. Oh, so just one. Just one. Just one more. Okay. Though, it's not unusual to see two sometimes. I, I've seen a couple systems where there have been two water planets near each other. So that's a thing. Gas giant. Can't terraform that. That's interesting. Nope, not a candidate. Wow, this. I mean, it makes sense that it would be pretty far away. Okay, there's our water world. You're not a candidate, but you're still a water world, so you're worth mapping at least. All right. Money's money. Want to see if any there was any activity in the chat? Alright. 
speed down a little bit so we don't overshoot this planet. Anarchy Water World. Just like the movie Water World. That was effectively an anarchy. So not my favorite Kurt Russell post apocalyptic movie. That's going to have to go to the postman. Also, not well received. But I don't think it had the same budget. Much smaller budget. Actually, that's a good question for the chat. Chat, what is your favorite Kurt Russell post-apocalyptic film? And why? Of course, now to think about it, I've got a thing set to where you have to follow me for like at least an hour or two before you can comment, so some of you might not be eligible. I get that. Keeps the trolls at bay, though. Oh, this is a par 8. Damn. Okay, I should have checked. I was treating this like it was a par 7. Damn, though. I about nailed the middle of it, though. That's pretty good. How many is that? Seven, right? Yeah. Nailed it. Oh, I gotta find my next waypoint. Damn it, what power play. Go away, power play. Nobody likes you. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to assume by the silence in the chat, you either can't chat or you don't have a favorite Kurt Russell post-apocalyptic movie. And that's fine. It's an acquired taste. It's not a good film. The postman by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's fun. It's the only film I've seen where that made the United States Postal Service look badass. And the film was shot in Oregon. Or at least it's supposed to take place in Oregon. Which, if you haven't seen any of the pictures from Oregon, oh, it's a beautiful state. I think it's like all states have its own uh, have their own beauty in one way or another. Y 
just gotta take the time to find it. Which I know sounds like stupid, but. Sounds like a damn postcard. Where the hell is that gas giant? somewhere like I could hear it or maybe I just don't know what the hell I'm doing that's always a possibility I'm rolling at least three times a day No one's discovered this neutron star? No. Cool. Hey, I, I, I'm all about that. Let's add some more neutron stars to the list. Oh, here it is. Found the damn thing. So I'm starting to think that this is drive operating beyond safety limits. Come on. found this system first. Ha 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 ha. That pilot's name is a uh, Hitchhiker's Guide reference. That's funny. Not the first person to think of that name, though. Zaphod Beetlebrex. Beetle Brox. Well, there goes all my nerd cred. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm playing a, a game where you pretend to cross the galaxy in a semi realistic starship. Okay. 
Okay. Miss something? The Jerker, 6969. Hmm. Well, we know what was on his mind. Well, I'm assuming it was a man. For very good reason. Okay, I got a crazy idea. Wait, what? That's not right. There we go. Let me try something crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just plot a route to my next, um, my next major waypoint. So this is Goliath's Rest. I want to see... There we go. It actually plotted a route all the way there. Seriously? You're seriously giving me a location that's 11.8 light years away? No, we're not going to do that. That's a waste of a jump. What the hell are you doing, computer?
And that's a red dwarf. What the hell are you doing? Of course, I could have just... Let's try this again. Wow, it's going to take a while <laughs> to plot that route. So what I'm hoping to do with this is I'm hoping that my ship's computer will... Oh, it's in Riker's Hope. Um, I'm hoping my ship's computer will plot a route through neutron stars that haven't been discovered yet. Because I'm using a... Plotting failed. What? How did the plotting fail? Didn't fail before. I haven't moved. Nothing's changed. How has it failed? Okay, I might just have to go with my old reliable um, spreadsheet. Hmm. Okay. Please hold. Let's try this guy. A lot closer. Computer should have an easier time plotting her out. There we go. Good. All right. That's better. That's much better. I don't know what the hell the ship's computer was trying to do. Oh, shit. That's probably, uh... Nine jumps. Huh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, the, maybe I'm giving the computer too much credit. I don't know. It's taking me to a neutron star. Oh. Mass? Yeah, it's gonna be nine jumps. Did like nine waypoints ahead. Yeah, that's, that makes perfect sense, actually. Alright, let's see. Has anyone found this yet? This might be faster. Okay, I know someone's found it. That's fine. Actually... Metal content, ah, it's not worth it. Warning, frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame shift drive supercharged. All right. So we need to get some fuel, so let me make a slight adjustment to our route. So that's our destination. And we're just going to make a slight adjustment. And head to this fuel planet. Hmm? Oh. Duh. That's a little bit further than we can jump. That's fine. Let me just make a couple adjustments here. Find something a little closer. Let's see, how's this guy? Oh, 270, 274. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. Yep, that should do it. Ah, uh, it's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do at all. That's fine. I'll just recalculate it when I get there.
Wait. You're a neutron star. What the hell? You don't want a neutron star. Oh. Well. Why the hell did you... Cosmic Drifter, huh? Primal content. Metal Rich Bodies. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't need the supercharge to get there, so I'm going to jump there. Weird. I don't know why it would have plotted a route to a neutron star only to go to another star that's within my ship's normal jump range. I must have screwed something up. Oh well. It's a big one. Orbital bodies? Not bad. Set up a little lower here. This is a new discovery. Target too close. Yeah, no shit. It's not like you got much here. All right. Hmm. Two stars. Oh, here we go. This, this little planet's just kind of like in the middle. Nope. Not a candidate. Okay. Let me go. F All right, let's try this again. Now that we got a full tank of gas. Target is 55 light years away. Good. Hopefully that's a neutron star. We'll find out soon. See, I like that the neutron plotter is great, which is the third party application I use to produce the spreadsheet that I use for these long journeys, but it only knows neutron stars that people have reported through EDSM, probably using um, ED Discovery. Um, which is fine, but if you're trying to discover stuff, it's generally better if you let the ship's computer plot those routes. Problem is, ship's computer can't plot a route longer than 20 light years, and even then it kind of has trouble. Yeah, and even then you're not guaranteed to find a neutron star that no one else has found. We've got a pretty good, like, pace going here. Oh, yeah, you can see the star density is starting to lighten up a little bit. Yeah, we 
must be getting towards the end. Oh, there's another neutron star. Very good. So far, so good. Anyone found this yet? Oh, look at that! Brand spanking new neutron star that no one else has found. Look at that. Actually, there's probably a lot of neutron stars along this route, so I'm not surprised. In fact, I was counting on it. Right. Good stuff. Okay, we got a fuel star. That's handy. Well, at least I can hope it's a fuel star. Just because it's yellow doesn't necessarily mean it's a fuel star. Fuel scooping. Well, we're in luck. Cool. Okay, let's. Where's my. There it is. My exclusion zone line disappeared. I use that to line up, line my ship up. There we go. All right. Are you a new system? Let's see. Oh yeah, you're a new system. Good, good, good. good. A lot to discover here too. It looks like.
Alrighty, complete. system scan complete. Let's see if there's anything worth scanning. It's like a pretty standard star system. Nothing too exciting about this one. Single yellow star with several gas giants orbiting it. Alright, 63 light years. I'm guessing this next one's a neutron star. <sighs> Gotta stretch. Keep your limbs limber. So I started back doing um, ring fitness adventure for the Switch. Man, I'm telling you, my shoulders hurt, my thighs hurt. I, actually, no, my whole leg, all my legs hurt. Every muscle in my leg hurts, which is a good thing. You know, if you're exercising and you, and it's a good ache. It's not like a you know, painful. It's a good ache. Oh well. All right, nothing in the system. Frame shift drive charging. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced this is the right way to go about it. Oh, well, I found one. Neutron star, so that's helpful, I guess. Oh, looks like a neutron star. Maybe. I don't know. Nope. Wasn't blue enough. Yeah, found 11 bodies. Very nice. We're done. Let's just clear this star real quick. I'm going to assume this is a new star system, right? No one's found this one yet. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Wait, a water world? What? Cool. Now, are you a candidate, though? That's the other question. Still gonna scan you regardless. Those two planets look promising as well. Every once in a while, every once in a while, I'll hit these jackpot planets where it's like three or four candidates. Um, I'm the first to discover it. Real like, real bang for your buck there. All right. Let's take a look. See who's a candidate. Ooh, a lot of these planets look promising. So, let's see. No. 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 Oh, looks good, but no. 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 Uh, high metal content. No. Ah, it is a candidate. Excellent. Okay, just you. Well, good. I was going to scan you anyway. When you're a candidate, you're worth even more money. Oh. 
That slowdown's not for this planet, it's for another one. So I haven't tried, but um, I imagine there's a way that you could use um, the gravitational, the, the gravity well of these planets to actually like give yourself a boost. I haven't tried it yet because I've noticed if you approach a planet too fast, uh, you almost like get caught up in the gravity well and it, you basically don't slow down. And actually, I think I might have done it with those two planets. Because if you noticed, my speed, I sped up a good bit as I passed the planet. And then immediately, like, slowed down. And as I was yapping... It was a shame. Uh, I mean, I figured as much. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. So, it makes sense that I can't pilot a starship at... Um, beyond light speed and talk at the same time. Yeah, I know what some of you are thinking. Why don't you install a flight assist computer? Well, I don't want to install a flight assist computer. Thank you very much. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just like to, I like to have the control. Uh, yeah, you can turn it off, I know, but I'd rather just own my mistakes and get better at it. Plus, I don't know if they, they take up a slot. They take up like a, a, a level one slot, which I'd much rather use for something else. Like, oh, I don't know, like a extra, just have to look at my ship's configuration. Basic, I've got all my slots full, all my internal slots full, so that would have taken up a valuable internal slot for something else. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Put that in four. Galactic Center soon. So, like, traveling through regions of space is kind of like when you're doing a road trip through the United States. Like, especially if you're going up the East Coast. Oh, God. You're in Virginia forever. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Also, no one's enforcing the speed limit. State of Virginia is like a damn police state. They'll get you for going like one mile over the speed limit. A little out of control if you ask me. I always uh, set my cruise control like two. Um, oh, wait. I don't, even know why I'm, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this one. Yeah, there might be one, but eh, whatever. So I skipped about 
four waypoints in between. So hopefully that'll, um, at the very least, I'll hit some systems uh, no one else has found. So. so far, so good, though. It's calculating in my uh, um, FSD boost. So that's good. Oh, and six jumps. I mean, it really only added two jumps, maybe? If I get at least one new neutron star out of this, I think it's worth it. Besides, no point in going to places other... Well, okay, I'm going to back that up. <laughs> I am going to places people have been before, but... Grabbing some systems, some neutron stars... Okay, looks like there's one ice body here. Ah, look at that. Brand new Neutron Star. Worth it already. Uh, it sounds like my dog wants to go out. So let me grab this. I'll be right back. New, new neutron star. It works for me. And hey, if this makes the neutron highway a little more efficient, all the better. Odds are pretty good I'm going to hit a, a fuel planet, too. Ah, oh, this ain't bad. Look at that. Another neutron star. It's actually not too bad. Um, it's... The ship's computer's gotten a lot better at predicting that than I've seen. Here. Has anyone found you before? Hey, you're a brand new Neutron Star, too. I'm good with that. Let's see. Oh, come on. There it is. System scan complete. Right, let me check something real quick. Not a candidate. I figured as much. Uh, pretty good guess, I'd say. Let's 
Actually, I hadn't even looked at my frameshift drive health. Uh, it's 89 at the moment. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Still in the galactic center. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll see. Fuel star or neutron star? Either one's fine by me. Looks like a fuel star, hopefully. Oh, no, that's a neutron star. You can see the, uh colors. Huh. Okay. Yeah, you can see the cones from far away. Okay, let me see. Are you a new system? Ah, you are a new neutron star. Excellent. <laughs> well, if you're, uh, Traveling from Sagittarius A, heading to Goliath's Rest, you might see on you might see some uh, stars that I found along the Neutron Highway. Come on, there we go. Let's see if this computer is smart enough to take into account my. Um, fuel. Probably not. We'll see. 88%. I should probably take the drive offline soonish and repair it. Oh, wow. Oh, well, no, that. I can't tell yet. Oh no, it's a fuel star, I hope. Huh. There it is, a fuel star. Excellent. Honestly, this might be the way to go. From now on, just like skip a few neutron stars and let the computer figure it out. Discovery? You get the full treatment. That was an interesting texture pop. It's like, oh wait, I need to light this thing, and then just kind of just exploded. High metal content. Assume these the rest of them are the moons of this gas giant. one. Oh! Boom. That's a candidate. Oh, and this one's a candidate too. Excellent. So, one, two, and three are candidates. Let's see if any of these moons qualify. They probably don't, but worth checking anyway. All right. Excellent. Good. I 
let's see. Is three closer? Nope. Okay. Well, you know what? It's probably... Judging by the distance, I'm going to assume three is on the other side of the system. Eh. Sometimes it plays out that way. That's the part that takes a while. Alright, right at 10 seconds, reduce throttle, and then it's smooth sailing from there. And then cut throttle at 0 0.40 light seconds. throttle perfect nailed it okay, it's the par 7 about right there I probably went a little too right of center so we'll see we'll see where that lands Surface scanned by 50%. Ha, 69. Oh no, I actually nailed that right in the middle. Practically. Alright. So now we just need to put you right there. That'll be 5. That should be 6% of the planet's surface right there. We just need to get it up to 90, so once we get it to 90, we're good. Look at that. Boom. Surface scan complete. All right. Okay, so two's been mapped. Let's go to three. Yep. That's what I was expecting. Other side of the system. Oh, actually, not quite as far as I thought, actually. Not all that bad, actually. It's kind of over there-ish. Well... Hmm. No. No, kind of, kind of is. It's far enough. You can see there's a star right there. I always get a little nervous when you hear the, the it's almost like the engine revs up. Throttle at ten seconds. Yeah. We keep it between six to eight seconds. You're golden. Now some pilots will tell you keep it at six. A little harder to maintain a, a good speed at six. Um because if you go under that, you're almost always going to overshoot it. So I like uh, I like to keep it right there. All right, and then at point 0.4. 
four, got throttle. Alright, a par six. One there. Shoot one there. And shoot one there. And let's see here. About right there feels right. Kind of have to go with your gut on that one. Hey, we're doing pretty good. Surface scanned by 50%. Right, let's see, where does it land? Where does it land? Oh, nope, a little, a little left to center, but that's okay. All right, we're just gonna put you. Boom. Ain't bad. All right. That was the last one. All right. I think I've got one more neutron star jump in me. I think I'm going to call the stream for the day. Sorry we didn't get to anything, like, exciting, but... You know, we're not even out of the Galactic Center yet. So let's see, how much further before we get out of the Galactic Center? I'll have to look at that. Oh. Oh, I've got another jump after this, okay. Well, never mind. For some reason, I was thinking this was my last jump, but I guess not. Ooh, this is a new Neutron Star, too. No one's found this one yet. Damn it. Wrong one. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm looking for something. something, something, something. Where are you? Some of these planets look promising. Right, here we go. Let's get rid of these. Get these asteroid clusters out of the way. Cool. Alright. Got any candidates? Let's see if we got some candidates. Oh, how far away is this star, I wonder? Well, it doesn't tell me on that screen. Oh, look at this candidate for terraforming. Okay. This one. That one's not. That one's not. But I'll take one. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, how's this work again? <laughs> not candidate for terraforming. Candidate for terraforming. Oh, wow. Look at that. Like three of these. Okay, I think we just found a jackpot system. Nice. All right, let's get my ship all boosted here. Well, I've got a, f well, probably jump first before because I don't know if the boost um, stays after you shut the FSD off 
Because I'm going to have to eventually take this thing down so I can repair it. Just make sure I stay clear of that exclusion zone. There we go. Supercharge. Now let's. Ah. Okay. Well, that's kind of exciting. A jackpot system. Look at that. All right. So, what are we looking at here? I got a little bit of time. I got a lot of bit of time. Oh, there. Okay, let's look at this guy again real quick. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like one. <laughs> one and three are, I'm sorry, what? I mean, hell, I might as well just map them all, to be honest. Like, they're already so close. I'm just going to map them all. Screw it. I'll just map all the systems. It's fine. Actually... Oops. Yeah, 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 I know. Actually, let's just... There we go. So I don't land in the planet. Alright, let's see. Let's go up. Come on. I really need to turn that Steam notification off. got him established. We got white. Hmm. Let's go with this. And that's going to be where we end the stream today. Well, speaking of the stream... Okay, no chat activity. Oh, actually, look at this. We're starting to get to the point where we're rising above the galactic plane. You see that? At least I hope that's the galactic plane. I mean, star density is still high, but... Oh, damn it. Where? Oh no, three, three is the closest. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna scan them all. There's only like four planets and two natural satellites. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Payday though.
Okay, we're getting closer. That's good. Good speed. Yeah, we should be fine. There's that skull nebula. I think we're getting closer to it because it's that's the largest it's been in a while. All right. Six. All right. Should be fine. I should be able to get this in. Maybe three. We'll find out, right? All right. Yeah. Now we wait. In three. Okay, we'll just go ahead and grab this one too, since it's right there. Do I have to be to this thing? There we go. Perfect. Right. Oh, it's a part two. <laughs> well, those are easy. Just hit both hemispheres. Well, I mean, I guess those could be hemispheres. Just hit the two poles. There we go. Surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's see here. We got a one. What a view, though. Not bad. It's going to take a while.
It's so peaceful out here. Very quiet. Oh, you want to see something messed up? A 94% through Pioneer. <laughs> I never made a leap. Well, I haven't made a leap yet. I remember um, in the last stream, I was like, I'll be surprised if I don't make a leap by the time I reach Explorer's Anchorage. Well, color me surprised. But I'll hit it when we hit uh, Tartarus. sounds like. Now, something I haven't checked is if I can disengage from this view and start traveling as the probes are hitting it. I've never tried that. Might be worth trying, actually. Alright, two. Two's the oddball. It's, um... It isn't a candidate. I'm going to scan it anyway. Mapped. I'm sorry. I keep using the word scanned. I'm not scanning it. I'm mapping it. Mapping it. Scanning is what we did earlier. has not been mapped. Okay, damn it.
throttle. Oh, I bet this planet... You know what? I think I know why this planet wasn't a good candidate. It's small. Oh, par four. Yep. Yeah, it's a tiny planet. I bet I could make it in two. Let's see. Let's see what two does. Now we wait. Okay, that's good to know. So if I know for a fact that last probe is going to complete the scan, I can just launch it and start speeding off in a different direction. That's actually going to save me a lot of time. All right, let's see. Mapped no. Mapped yes. Mapped yes. Yes. That's cool. Oh, this is a nice find. Good find. Very pleased with it. down a little. There we go. Okay, so the fact that that planet was so small makes a lot of sense as to why it wasn't a candidate. Planets have to be a certain size, I think. Got a little too close, but that should be fine. Alright, you're a six. One there. One there. One there. And find the sweet spot right there. Now we wait. I guess I don't have to wait. Honestly, I just want to know like where that landed, to be honest. Oh, we're done here. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, that system's been fully mapped. check something. Four, three, two, one, okay. So I had to check that. Um, according to ED Discovery, that system was worth um, 5.4 million credits. Wow. A lot of bodies here. Pretty sure this is a new Discovery, too. Let's... 
some distance from the star. Some drop out. All right, Let's bring ourselves to a stop here. Power plant capacity exceeded. Yeah, whatever. This is why you got to set your, uh, 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 module priority. Alright, so well, that is repairing. Um, we're going to end the stream here. I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, first time I've had two people consistently watch the entire stream, so hooray me. Uh, these streams are weekly, uh, Wednesday at 5pm Eastern. And just... Uh, Follow me to get updates. Uh, if you also want to keep up with the channel, you can subscribe to me. Oh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Twitch. Follow me on Twitter uh, at Red Falcon Two K Six. That's also going to be at the uh, end credits here. Uh, let's see what else. These are also archived to my YouTube channel. Uh, link to that's at the end of the video. Uh, to find me, just do a YouTube search for uh, Red Falcon Expedition of Eagle Point. You'll find me. Uh, you can subscribe there, and you'll get all the updates. Uh, there's also a Imgur album that I've been keeping up with, um, showing all the sites and everything going on. Uh, you can find that uh, at YouTube. Any of the YouTube channels will link to it. Also, um, on the About Me page on Twitch, there's a link to it as well. Uh, let's see. Did I forget anything? I think that's it. Um, again, thank all of you for watching, and you be safe out there.